Hey everybody, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Since there weren't many movies to come out last weekend, I decided to chill on Netflix. And yes, I know what the other phrase is supposed to mean, and I think it's dumb, so I'm taking it back. I decided to chill out and watch all of Daredevil Season 2 in one day. Was it as amazing as Season 1? Well, yes and no. While I enjoyed the entire story as a whole, I felt that Season 2 had enough content to fill Season 2 and Season 3. I really liked both storylines, one being the Punisher origin story and the other being the return of Elektra to our hero's life respectively, but I felt that both of them could have filled a season on their own. The timeline of the story was supposed to be sometime in the summer to Christmas, which is a lot of time to fill. Also, I felt that the storylines tugged at each other in an unnatural, convenient way, usually by way of a phone call. Need to move to Electra's story? Well, just have her call Matt up to move it along. The new characters are phenomenal. Elodie Young is pretty good as Electra, though she is pretty different from her comic book counterpart in many ways. The real gem of this season was John Bernthal as Frank Castle, aka The Punisher, aka my favorite comic book character ever. When I talked to Bernthal at Chicago Comic Con last year, he said, I think you'll dig what we've done with the character. I knew he was going to be good, but I had no idea how right he'd be. I need to take care of the scum that killed my family. People don't have to die. You hit them and they get back up. I hit them and they stay down. Why are you doing this? Because I think you're a half measure. I think you're a man who can't finish the job. I think that you're a coward. You know you're one bad day away from being me. Nothing against Dolph Lundgren, Tom Jane, or Ray Stevenson, whose Punisher movies hold a fanboy place in my heart, but Bernthal is the Punisher. Not to spoil anything, but if they don't give Bernthal his own Netflix series after this, they're just as nuts as Frank Castle is. On a character side note, some faces from Season 1 make a return and gives me hope for Season 3. The action is as good as ever. If you liked the action the first time around, you won't be disappointed here either. It is hard-hitting and brutal. When the Punisher gets involved, it amps up the violence even more as well. Oh, and lastly, there is a short but awesome teaser for Luke Cage attached to the end of the last episode. I guess you guys haven't heard about me. I'm about sick of always having to buy new clothes. So, is Daredevil Season 2 worth chilling out and binging? That would be a big yes. Despite its flaws, there is still a lot to like this season, but remember, it's only just one guy's opinion. Now it's time to go from Marvel to DC. Next time on The Real Opinion, I'll be taking a look at Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. If you can't wait until next time to hear my thoughts on the movie, make sure to check out the Real Geno Facebook page for my first real impression of the first theatrical meeting of the world's finest. Until next time, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion.